You going all right? Let's secure the scene. Bad boys, what you want, what you want, what you gonna do? When Sheriff John Brown come for you. Tell me, what you gonna do, what you gonna do? Yeah. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do, what you gonna do? State your name. Audrey Pepper. Okay, uh, Miss Pepper, could you please tell us how exactly you found the body? Well, I was sitting with all of my friends at the table, and each of them left one by one. Susanna left to complain to the kitchen, then Matilda excused herself to go to the bathroom. I'm not sure what happened with her. Then Carolyn got up from the table and said she was going to go out for a cigarette. I waited there for a while, so I went to the kitchen to see why Susanna was taking so long. That's when I found the body lying dead on the floor. And that's all I know. Can you please state your name? Matilda Merriweather. Miss Merriweather, can you please tell us what happened? Uh, well, here's what I know. We were sitting around the table eating our meals. My friend Susanna got up from the table to go complain to the chef about how long her food was taking. And when she crossed the room to go into the kitchen, she glared at me and said, Good luck at tomorrow's game, Matilda. So then I excused myself and went to the bathroom. She's as aggressive on the court as she is off the court. I was so nervous. I get nosebleeds when I get nervous, and Susanna was intimidating. So I cleaned up my nose, then headed back to the table. Uh, and that's all I know. Please state your name. Uh, Carolyn Baker, not Caroline. Can you please tell us what happened? Well, I was sitting at the table with Audrey after all the other girls had left the table. I decided I desperately needed a cigarette after Susanna's little outburst over her pasta. She had made such a scene. It was so humiliating for all of us. So, I went outside to the back of the restaurant and had a few puffs. And that's all I know. Can you please send in the angry customer, uh, Susanna York? Yes. Uh, look, I don't have time for this. I have to go to Pilates, alright? So let's make this- Okay, okay. Can you please just state your name? Susanna York. Teach Pilates on the weekend, organ donor. Can't donate blood though because I lived in London for Okay, okay, that's all great, but we really need to, we don't have a lot of time, so can you please just tell us what happened? Yeah, I can tell you what happened. I'm um, so in New so York. York. I hear the kids love it. Yes, they do. They do. Uh, right now, it is our yeah. third. Mm -hmm. So, it's a big mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So we'll I mean, it's really good. I can't handle it. Oh, rich oh for you. you guys just enjoy. If there's anything else I can do for you, just be sure to let me know. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So the waitress took the quote-unquote pasta back into the kitchen. She said she would speak to the chef about it and have it recooked for me. Well, it was taking too long. So I went in there and I took matters into my own hands. So I went in there and I'll admit, 
I'll be the first to admit it, I may have lost my temper just a bit. I got angry. I started screaming at Chef Boyardee, and that must have scared him, because he put up the knife he'd been using to cut the bananas with as his weapon, and then we got into a bit of dispute. Unladylike of me, I'll admit. I'm not proud of my actions, but I was angry. He grabbed me and forced my weapon out of my hands, and he dragged me out of the restaurant. He threw me out, and that's the last I saw of the little bastard. Hello, Dr. Amari. Hello, Dr. Amari. Hello. Uh, now what we got here? Uh, this is the body of Chef Boyardee. Mm. Uh, there's suspected foul play found mm. the night of, uh, November 11th mm -hmm. at the, uh, restaurant down on 5th Avenue. <gasps> restaurant on 5th Avenue? Oh, my husband and I have been trying to get reservations there ever. Yeah, well, it's a really nice place. Good luck now. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's get to it. Scapple? Looks like there's some bruising on the right side of the skull, and some blistering also. Hmm, it looks like it was something caused by something very hot. Something with a lot of heat. Oh, <gasps> a hot pan! <gasps> Maybe he was hit over by a hot pan! If he had been, before he was stabbed, and he was on the floor, becoming unconscious, that would explain the amount of blood pooling. <gasps> Dr. Amari, you're a genius! Well, let's look at this cut here. All right, well, it seems to be eight centimeters deep, 0.5 centimeters wide, and 12 centimeters long. And the lacerations here are consistent with the serrated knife. Hmm, let's see. <gasps> the liver is ruptured. He must have died from internal hemorrhaging. Hmm, let's get this information to the police right now. All right, let's get a quick refresher of who is at the crime scene. Well, we can rule out Susanna York. Her alibi checks out. People across the street saw her getting thrown out of the restaurant. And I don't think it was Audrey Pepper. She was too shaken up, and I don't think she was faking it. We should send in Matilda Mary while there is a napkin. See if the blood is a match. Figure out whose blood it really is. Let's go to the back of the restaurant and look for those cigarette butts to see if Caroline Baker's alibi checks out. All right, I'll go this way, you go that way. Did you find anything? Nothing over here. Her alibi doesn't check out. Let's bring her in. Oh, but I did find this knife. You found the murder weapon? Oh, yeah. Do you know what this means? This is the murder weapon! Now we can just test for fingerprints! Get your hands off it! Miss Baker, your alibi doesn't check out. We checked all around the restaurant and we didn't find a single cigarette butt. Okay, I'll tell you. I didn't want to say it before because I was too embarrassed, but... Chef Bourdie and I, we were in love. It's true, we were in love. I used to sneak into the kitchen when nobody else was there. He cooked special dishes for me. He set my heart aflame. We shared pasta together on the weekends. He even taught me how to properly cut bananas. It was magical. Wait! Wait. The bananas! The blade marks that were used to cut the bananas were the same blade marks that we found on Chef Boyardee. But wait, none of the suspect's fingerprints match what was on the knife we found. We hit another dead end. The day of the murder, I excused myself from the table and went to go see Chef Boyardee as I often did. But to my surprise, the back door was locked. I wasn't about to expose myself and go around the front entrance. I didn't want my friends to know I'd been seeing the chef. Anyways, when I was at the back of the restaurant, I saw somebody running in the kitchen. I don't know who it was. I couldn't make out the face. And that's all I know, really. The video surveillance we're getting back in a few days should have some answers. If not, it's a cold case. According to the employee files, I was looking at the waitress and she seems to have a clear history of theft and a few assault charges. So, that doesn't mean she's a viable suspect in this case. We should bring her in for questioning. Agreed. Hi, hi, officers. I, uh, I just got the surveillance footage. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, what 
What's that? What's what? Right there. Wait, I'll zoom in a bit. Clear the image. Right there, a woman. That's the waitress. <gasps> I work in the kitchen. I have a very busy job. I'm coming in and out of the kitchen all the time. And another thing, our video surveillance camera is only established in the back door. The murderer could have come in in the front and you guys wouldn't even know about it. So don't sit here and pin it on me when you haven't even checked out the front entrance. Wendy, can you please explain your relationship you had with Chef Boyardee? It was your average boss-worker relationship. Nothing special about it. You appear to have a history of theft on your crime records. Does that have, have, have anything to do with your relationship with Chef Boyardee? Well, yes. Uh, a week ago, I was short on money. Um, I hadn't been getting the normal amount of tips that I usually do. And I admit that I stole some money. And um, Chef Boyardee caught me stealing it. And he told me he was going to fire me. And he said that I had until the end of this week to finish up working here. And then I'd have to find another job. But that didn't interfere with our relationship at all. I was going to leave quietly until this happened. Honest. Wendy, we found a knife outside of the restaurant with your fingerprints on it. Care to explain that? Like I said, I work in the kitchen. I use that knife all the time. Then why was it outside, under a pot? already underpaid as it was, and now he was going to throw me out. I couldn't lose my job. So I crept up from behind him in the kitchen, and I grabbed the frying pan. He reached for the knife, but grabbed the banana instead. Then I hit him over the head with the frying pan, and then I grabbed the knife that he had dropped, and I went over to him when he was knocked unconscious, and I stabbed him. And then I washed the blood off of the knife, and then I washed the blood off of my hands. And then I went out the back door again, and I buried the knife. And I don't regret any of it. Wendy, you are under arrest for the murder of Chef Boyardee. You have the right to... Uh, Smith, read the Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer questions. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Yeah! Yeah! You're going away for a long time, Wendy, a long time! Hey, Smith. Nice job on that case. We really cracked it down this time. Yeah, we did. Hey, how about we uh, go out to dinner? Celebrate. Just you and me. Alright, sounds good. Where? Hmm, kind of need some for some uh, Italian cuisine. Oh, how about that one on 5th Street? You know, I hear they have a really good chef there. Uh, chef Boyardee. I think I, I think I read something about him in the news. Didn't he... Didn't he die? Oh yeah. Wait, wasn't that our case? Oh yeah. Oh. New China? Come on, let's go. Now they always say congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation. They ain't never had the dedication. People hate and say we changing.